everyone I'm Cashmere aka K Chanel Beauty and I'm here today to talk about Elf's Beauty Squad program now if you're familiar with Elf you know that they have a, a program that they started a little while back where you earn points for every dollar amount that you spend so if you spend one dollar you'll get I believe two points if you're a glow getter you spend a dollar you get four points if you're a rising star and if you're an A-lister, you spend a dollar, you get six points. So that's usually, that's how it goes. It's three levels. And once you become an A-lister, you get a whole lot of, you know, other benefits as well. Not just, um, you know, the, the, I think they give you a coupon and like a gift for your birthday as well as when you actually enroll. But once you become an A-lister, you get a whole bunch more. You get to choose what day you might want to do a sale or you'll get to choose um, a full-size product that you can get for free based on the number of points that you have. So it's a lot more perks to it. Also, you can earn points too by using your social media or just referring a friend. If you refer a friend, you get 150 points for every friend that you refer to the Beauty Squad. And you get either 5 points. If you do a tweet or share a post about Elf on Facebook and Twitter, and if you follow them on Instagram, you get 10 points. So right now I am a lister, and one of the perks that came in the mail this past weekend was an A lister exclusive, and it was two velvet matte lipsticks in the colors Brick and I believe Orchard. So they're really pretty. If you guys can see. So what I'm going to do today, I'm not wearing any lipstick. I'm just going to go ahead and first swatch the colors so you can see how they look, you know, on my skin. And then also apply them onto my lips so you can see how they look with an actual, you know, makeup look. And I did a simple makeup look today, just a regular neutral eye nothing you know too fancy because I want the lipsticks to really shine now first and foremost I'm gonna try brick first and I'm gonna get it out of the packaging but you know first and foremost I usually don't wear matte lipsticks to me they feel uh they make my lips feel super dry and that was one of the reasons why I avoided them and I usually use just the moisturizing lipsticks or you know satin lipsticks or something like that because they add moisture back into your skin because I have extremely dry skin I have it's crazy I have combination skin on my face but the rest of my body is extremely extremely dry so when I seen these and that they have vitamin E and organ oil in them I was excited because hopefully you know they'll keep my lips hydrated and moisturized but also you know look really pretty and on makeup looks now the first one that I'm going to use is the color brick. They all, I would say the packaging is really cute. It's really chic. It reminds me of their other lipstick products like their moisturizing lipsticks and also, um, well I wouldn't say the Beautifully Bare because those are more rounded but definitely mimicking the moisturizing lipsticks that they have on their line. And what I liked about brick is that it's like the color of actual bricks. If you go, you know, or if you pass by a house or if you see a house that has brick, it looks similar to that color. It's not totally red and it's not, you know, like a dark deep red like you would wear for a holiday or something like that. It's more of like a pinky red, I would say. And when it dries matte, it gives off that color as well. So I just want you to see it here how it looks again really pretty you know it is it does dry matte but it also looks hydrating as well so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply this onto my lips now I will say if you're you know letting a friend use it or even if you're using it on yourself I would say using a lip brush or something like that would be perfect but since I'm the only one that's going to be using this lipstick I'm going to apply it just coming out of the package but again for your own precautions you can you know always use a lip brush or use something that's disposable like a, there are disposable lip brushes that you can use like the little plastic ones in order for you to apply whether you're doing it with a friend on a friend or if you're doing it for an actual client that you're doing makeup on 
And all I'm gonna do is just smooth this on. All right, when I initially opened, you know, the product, I thought this is not gonna match me. This is gonna be too much for me. I'm not gonna be able to wear this lipstick. But actually putting it on and seeing the matte shade on my lips, it looks really, really good. This might be my new favorite lipstick. That's color. It gives a lot of payoff. It's very, very pigmented. And it also blends well with my skin tone. Now on my hand, to me it's a little bit bold. But actually wearing it on my lips, it looks really, really cute. And it actually matches like my dark hair. I don't if you guys haven't seen my natural hair video, I explained a little bit about why I change my lip colors when I wear my my natural hair versus when I wear like a wig or weaves or something like that. So definitely check that out to see why, but I really love how it looks on me and I would I would actually wear this and I actually like the matte. My lips aren't dried out. It looks really really pretty and pigmented and I'm gonna try and get as close as I can so you guys can see it. I'm also gonna insert pictures here somewhere in here on the video as well of you seeing it. But it looks really really good. I like it. I actually like it. So I guess we have a winner in Brick so far right now. So what I'm gonna do is get this taken off and then we're gonna try Orchid next. Alright guys, so I will say that it takes a second to actually remove the color. I might actually do it and show you. <laughs> so you guys, I will say that it does take a second to actually remove the color. I'll actually demonstrate that in a second because I did use my Kiss It Goodbye Lip Color Remover from e.l.f. as well. It got it, you know, off pretty well, but it did take a minute to take off, which is Definitely could be a good thing because if you're wearing, you know, the, the lipstick out, you don't want to keep having to reapply. You want to be able to wear it as long as you can before you have, you know, have to reapply. So that actually could be a great thing that you don't um, immediately get it removed. Like it doesn't automatically come off. So I was happy about that. The next color is again Orchid. And it looks like a pretty purplish. I would say not even a hint of pink, but more of like a pretty purple color. Um, more light toned, um, definitely. So let's go ahead and see how it looks on camera. Here it is right here. It's not like, you know, some of the other tones that you might see for a matte lipstick. Cause you see a lot of like raspberry or really dark berry colors or even red colors, similar to how Brick was. But this one's more of like a, I would say a light again purple color not very very dark not you know completely light where it's almost pink but like right in the middle it's very very pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it first so you guys can see I love the color payoff on this color it actually looks even bolder than the brick was so this is the the purple one the orchid and then this is the brick I love the color payoff. I love Brick. Don't get me wrong. It was a nice surprise. But I love the color payoff on Orchid. And I hope that matches my skin. And looks really cute. Because I like how it looks. And again the packaging is the same as the uh, moisturizing lipsticks from e.l.f. as well. So let's go ahead and apply this shade. And again you guys remember before you apply any lipsticks make sure that you do a good um, lip scrub and also you know make sure that you um, apply a good moisturizing um, lip balm over your lips as well whether it's you know a lip exfoliator for the scrub or uh, just a regular lip scrub and if you just use a regular lip balm that you might have it really helps when you apply lipsticks to your lips it makes it you know give it a more smooth and even application I would say all right y'all I am loving this color this also so we have two winners here I'm so excited we have two freaking winners as far as matte lipstick we have two because you know when you initially see lipstick colors sometimes you're like oh god 
you know, will it match my skin tone? Will it make me look, you know, this way or that way? But these two colors, I am so freaking excited about. They actually look really, really, really pretty on my skin. Not only just looking at it from the initial swatch, but also just looking at it here on my lips. Look at, you, look at this, you guys. It looks really, really pretty. Again, I'll insert a picture as well of how they look on my lips, but it looks so beautiful. I love the color payoff. I love how, you know, it, it just looks, I don't know, I can't describe it. There, I have no words for a change today. It just, but also it's kind of like a bold lip, like if you want to do it like I did today, like a neutral eye went perfect with it. So I really, really love this color payoff. I love the pigmentation. I love that it didn't take a lot to apply it to give it its color payoff. I'm really, really liking the orchid. So I really can't choose which one's my favorite now. I said brick was my favorite, but now I'm loving orchid. So I'm probably going to play with the colors a little bit, you know, just to see which one I might like the best. And hopefully this will probably be included either in a favorites video or maybe even a review video soon. But I do love how the colors paid off. I really, really do. It looks really, really nice. Really, like I said, she color payoff is beautiful. The color pigmentation is beautiful. It didn't take that much to apply it. And it just looks really, really pretty often. But I will say these two products are exclusive to A-Lister. So, and so what I would recommend to you guys is in order not to miss out on these great opportunities that ELF has is to definitely sign up for the Beauty Squad program. Again, I am not affiliated with ELF. I'm not working with them, but I do love the company and I just want, you know, I'm always supportive of their brand. And again, I love affordable products when I don't have to break my bank trying to get beauty products. I love being able to, you know, shop at ELF and get products from them. So again, I'm not affiliated. I'm not working with them. I love their program that they have for the beauty squad. And I would definitely recommend if you're going to get great products like these to, to, you know, go ahead and purchase off their site. Be a part of the Beauty Squad program and, you know, reap the benefits, reap the perks. You're spending the money, you might as well just reap the perks. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what videos you might want to see in the future here on my YouTube channel. Also, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're notified every time I post on here. And make sure you, you know, follow me on social media. I'm on, you know, all the social medias, but I'm mo most particularly I've been on Instagram a lot lately and a little bit of snapchat too so make sure you check me out on both of those and until saturday you guys i hope that you have a great rest of your week bye